All right, everybody, welcome to another dose of virtual vitamin Z. My name is Brad. I'm an education specialist for the Detroit Zoological Society, and today I am here with Mary. Good morning. I'm a supervisor in the mammal division. We're happy to have you at the barn this morning. Yes, and if you guys can't tell yet who we are learning about today, we are here with... The Gloucester Old Spot Pigs, and we have Betty Ann and Lula, and we can tell them apart because Lula has lots of spots. So this is, this that is, this is be, Betty Ann? Yep. And then... And Lula's over there, and then we also have their little friend, Ollie's with them too. Ollie. Nice. And then how did you say their names? They are Gloucester. Gloucester. Which is a mouthful. It is a mouthful. Old spots. Gloucester old uh -huh. spots. And they actually have to have at least one spot on them to be considered a Gloucester old spot. Old spot. spot. Otherwise, yeah. they're just a... Gloucher. Or they're just a light colored pig. Just a light colored pig. <laughs> <laughs> there are over a uh, hundred different species of different pigs. There's many different types of pigs. Right. So. It, 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 similar to like dogs. Similar right? like, yep. Exactly. Different breeds. So Ollie's Vietnamese pot bellied. Vietnamese pot belly, yep. Awesome. All right. So how old are they? These girls are 11 years old. And I have to tell the story. They came to us as babies and they were no bigger than a football. Really? With these tiny little spots. And you can see how big they've grown. They are right around 382 pounds. This species can get up to about 500 pounds. So these are big girls, Woo! real big girls. And they have the muscle to show it and they kind of push their way around and get the treats that they want. And then with our little friend here, he, he manages with the ladies, so <laughs> and he's about a little over 100 pounds. A little over 100? Yeah. And then how, do, how old is Ollie? Ollie is, let me remember, he's 12 years old. 12 years old. Yep. And is this like, is this like middle age for pigs? Yeah, I mean, and it really depends on their circumstances. Here at the Detroit Zoo, they have an amazing life, and... They have excellent care and a veterinary staff on grounds for health care, so they may live longer than the typical pig Thanks. just because of the fabulous life that we provide for them. Absolutely. Um, so we talked about the different breeds, and then there's a lot of misconceptions in general about farm animals, right? A lot of times right. we look at farm animals and we're like, okay, that's just a pig, let's go see the tigers. But research has shown that pigs appear to be quite intelligent, they're friendly. Do you have any examples of how intelligent pigs are? Yes, I have had the privilege of actually working with our camp kids when we were able to have them here in the past. And we did an experiment with these girls specifically, and we hid some treats that they love, which could be maybe some cereal, those are special treats, some crackers, produce, all different kinds of things in a box. And then we wanted to see if they could open the box to get their treats. That's a pretty simple one. No okay. big deal. Right. So they did that real fast. Then we put a box in a box okay. to All see. Right. So the scent was a little more disguised and it didn't look the same as the first time. And probably within 10 or 15 seconds, they had busted out the box in a box, box. and had that figured out. So we said, hey, let's go for number three. Box in a box in a box. box. No challenge for them. They are incredibly intelligent. They have great sniffers and they found that immediately. We will also put um, their treats inside toys, hide it inside toys, and they'll have to dig around and find it. We may, oh, thanks. That's real pretty <laughs> for the camera, Ladybug. Um, Don't worry, we're trying to, well, I'll try to, we'll crop that out. We'll, we'll dig different holes in the yard so we keep their space nice and complex. We add different substrates. So there's a lot of things that we do from a welfare standpoint to keep things complex and, and challenge their intelligence because I mean, they are so intelligent. And, that, and that's similar. To I've, I've seen, um, you know, like puzzle feeders for dogs and things like yes. that, where they, you, put, you hide their treats inside boxes right. or little like compartments. And um, it's very similar, but they're so smart. We could actually hide a puzzle feeder inside, inside of the boxes, boxes and then they would have to work even harder to figure that out. So... Now, uh, another, I think another thing that people think when they think about pigs is that they eat a lot, right? Is that they, true? They do consume a lot. They actually have a special diet that's called porcine. 
coursing. And it has all of their vitamins and minerals that they need to stay nice and healthy. And it's in a pellet type form and they love to goggle, gobble that up. So we actually sometimes separate them to feed so everybody gets to calmly eat at their leisure. Um, you'll also see us giving them ice treats in the summer. So frozen veggies and a block of ice and they can figure out how to get those out or um, produce that will scatter in different locations. So there's a lot of things lot of we things. can do to increase the complexity in their habitat. Do they have a favorite food? Oh, I'm sure that they would love just about anything. <laughs> Today they're having, they had dandelion greens earlier and they gobbled those up in like less than two minutes. So. Nice, very fancy dandelion, dandelion greens. greens. Wow, yeah. all right. They get the, the gourmet from the commissary and all kinds of different greens. And special treat produce sometimes berries and things like that so now for the um and this is kind of unrelated but for the ice treats is it because pigs don't they can't sweat right Do they, does that help to keep them cool in the, in the I, summer yeah and the other thing that we do in the summer and even in the fall if they choose is we'll give them mud wallows and it does a couple different things it acts as a sunscreen it keeps the bugs off them and it can cool them off we also have tubs that we can put in there so it's really their choice, um, but yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. So they can get sunburned just like us. They do. <laughs> they can, and we actually have used sunscreen on them. That's so nice. Their caretakers are awesome here at the barn, the keepers, and keep a watchful eye on that, especially those beautiful ears that you see flopping right over the They do have some really right great now. ears. It's kind of like a blonde hair thing where they can just flip, flip it, it over. be fancy with their hair. I guess I shouldn't say blonde. It can be any color hair. But. That's right, yeah. Sometimes I do the hair flip too, yes, you know? Yes, exactly. <laughs> the bread at the barn hair, hair flip. flip. It's a classic. Um, okay, do you have a, uh, just a favorite fun fact about pigs in general? Or is there anything else you'd want viewers at home to know about pigs? I just well, a drive home point is that they're incredibly intelligent they're creative they have relationships with each other they're super cute when you have a big pile of hay or straw and they're all snuggled up in it together um, but they do understand training and they're just all around amazing and with the big girls here they'll put their heads up and flop their ears back and look at you right in the eye and it just kind of warms your heart so and to it's been really cool for me to watch them grow since they were tiny babies into these gorgeous big pigs. That is really, so, really cool. I, they're in my heart. And then do you have just a favorite story from the barn in general? Because it would actually be about the girls or, or Oliver, but... Um, I think I actually was had an amazing time being the supervisor in the barn area. And I love to watch where the different keepers have worked here all the different skills that they bring and the creativity and the care that they have for the animals because every animal here is an individual to us and it's wonderful to watch their personalities and observe their behaviors and see what each individual needs and they do all have their own personalities which is um gives us a good guide as to what their life should be right. like and how they should be cared for so i just overall it's just a it's a very heartwarming place for me plus i think that's something that people understand is the barnyard is a barnyard and it's always a wonderful you know the big red barn with the white trim right it just has a really warm fun feel to for it people so so um, speaking of personalities do they do they do these the girls have or oliver have any Unique personality traits. Yes, um, the girls want food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel, that. I feel that. <laughs> um, but the other thing that's super cool about pigs is they love scratches. Like really? They would scratch a dog or something like that. They just love to be scratched, um, and we can work hands-on with them in our habitat here. And I got just their their beautiful eyes when they flip their ears Girls back. Rack. And their curly little tails that make all kinds of shapes and <laughs> whip around. And yeah, you just can't get, get better than pigs sometimes you, when you're talking at the barnyard. You really can't. I know. They're one of, one of my favorite. It's hard to pick. They're all so great, they right? They do get their nose. I you know. It. They just, they're so multifunctional. Now, we'll see. If anyone has any questions out there, you can always drop them in the comments for uh, myself and Mary. If you have any questions about the pigs um but otherwise i think uh 
think maybe we'll let these uh these girls get to rooting around in the dirt yeah. and uh it's a beautiful sunny day here it is I a beautiful it. day yeah yeah if you guys have time come by the zoo visit visit the barn animals um but otherwise i guess uh i guess that's it there's no questions so i'm gonna flip this camera around and say goodbye to everybody so thank you guys for Thanks, joining guys. us have a wonderful day and we will see you next time